Okay, we're going to take our last video where we made a basic jQuery mobile app and expand it a bit to um, work on list views. So this is where we left off in our last video. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this section, section 2, so we're going to go to page 2, click here, oops, let's refresh that, click here, let's make sure we're going to page 2, save, Okay, so page two. What we're going to do is we're going to add a list in here. So let's take this out. We're going to go inside the content div and we're going to add just a standard list. List item. We're going to make each uh, item a link as well. And we'll go we'll link back to page one. List item one. And just for the sake of speed, I'm going to copy these list items. And I'll just change the number here. Okay, and now let's end our list. And we'll save that and we'll refresh over here. And we've got our standard list items. But now that doesn't look very mobile-ish. So what we're going to do is add a data role onto this list that is called list view. So right away we're going to be able to see a difference. You can see it's already starting to look more mobilized. <laughs> so, but I don't exactly like that. I want the kind of list that's kind of has this padding around it. So there's one more thing we're going to add, and that's going to we're going to make this uh, list inset inside the inside the content. So we're going to add a data inset equals true. Again, save, refresh, and now you see we've got these nice rounded corners. Uh, when we click this. It goes off to page one. We'll click to go back. And there's our nice list of items. Now, we're going to do a couple more things. Uh, one thing we're going to do is we're going to add a list divider. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make a new list item. And I want to have a, a divider that tells me, um, oh, whatever, um, every all numbers above five. Okay. So if I say that right now, it's going to look a bit weird. So we're going to add um, one of the standard uh, data roles with jQuery, and it's called list divider. Save that, refresh. Now we've got that nice. Uh, it's the second part of the theme. I think it's either B or C uh, theme, and so you probably this probably looks familiar for when you're navigating like a um, a directory of names. So with each start of it, of a new letter, you can include a list divider that has that letter. Um, a, B, C, that kind of thing. And so that's the basics. And then we're going to add one more pretty cool little feature, and it's super easy to make. Um, we're going to put a, a search box up here that instantly filters everything in this list. And because we're working with mobile, we want it to be instant. That's important. So we're going to add one little thing, and it's called data filter. And we're going to set that to true, and you'll see it's. it might make you cry. It happens so fast. So we're going to hit refresh. And there's our filter box. Let's test it out. We're going to click list. And nothing happens because all of these are titled list. Why don't we type in one and see how many it pulls up? Ah, one. So it pulls up all the lists that have a number one. Note that it, it ignores the divider. Um, sorry, it brings in the divider because everything beneath it, there, there are items beneath it. Now if we type in four, for instance, the divider disappears. And if we type in ten, the divider stays. And so um, yeah, that's a basic list view in jQuery Mobile, and there's a lot of other things you can do with icons and list dividers or uh, icon dividers and things like that. But that should cover the basics and get you started.